Today we packed everything up, we finished putting everything into the pod, still a couple of things we have to smooth out, um, but we got it put together, we got it put in the, uh, in the trailer and we're getting ready to go down to Hawthorne to, to our new HQ. Uh, we, were, we were having coffee, me and a neighbor of mine, and a couple of guys came in and uh, Want to know if there was any available spots here in this whole compound, and they only needed it for a week. So I said, "Well, yeah, I could probably move out a little space, you know." And um, they started coming in, and they've been here 24/7. To be wrenching, literally on the Hyperloop prototype, dream come true. So the next step for us is to get the power in the pod. That's what we want to demonstrate at SpaceX. So right now we're doing everything for that. We have some guys working on the batteries, trying to make the last addition to it to make sure it's fully safe. At the same time, we have those guys in the background making, uh, all, the, making sure all the harnessing is finished. And we have the guys uh, doing the software, talking to the PCBs, to ground station to make sure all those three things working together. What has happened in the past week? Everyone's been working around the clock. I mean, we've been sleeping in shifts. Um, I forgot what day it is halfway through the week. We've been overcoming a lot of last minute issues when you're actually trying to get the thing to work all at once and we're just kind of going and hacking away at it and making sure that every night it gets a little bit more polished and a little bit more polished and we take it to SpaceX the next day and we test it and they ask questions and they're always very impressed with our design so tomorrow we just need to make sure that it finally does all come together and that's we're all kind of holding our breath a little bit because it's been it's been a challenge. Tomorrow is the last day. It's the competition. We do have a couple tests we still need to get through, but we're in a very good place now. It's just a matter of if we have the time to do it. What this is really intended to do is to encourage uh, innovation in, in transport technology, uh, to get people excited about new forms of transport, um, things that may be completely different from what we, we see today. Just to add my congratulations, 2017, thank you for coming, thank you for participating. I've done incredible work, well done. They didn't meet until they converged here. Really? Yeah. How did you build it? Everything was cool. Okay. 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 Cool. Awesome. Uh, and uh, have, have you had a chance to move it? Or? Did you? We did some tests of what they the integration with a bunch of issues. Okay. So the answer is not real. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's true. But perhaps uh, for the summer, the, the, the one we, uh, in the summer, the race in the summer, that should be hopefully. Yeah, we'd yeah, love hopefully. to. Well, I remember being early on in this and, and thinking that maybe they couldn't do this. And they came through, they did a great job. And how they pulled this together, um, especially over the last month or so, just incredible. But we had some integration issues, and one of our modules, uh, the cell, you know, turned out to be dead. So we could not get the clearance to go into the pod, go into the tube, sorry, and do the final run. But we, we made it. I mean, it's amazing. We came this far and we actually built something of value out of thin air. I want to make the first announcement, first public announcement, in that the R-Loop team has won the Innovation Award for the SpaceX Hyperloop Competition. Just thank you to everybody. Thank you to the connectivity for their constant support throughout. Thank you to our Looper's Best Innovation Award. We did it. I'm exhausted, I'm proud and happy. I felt like what I've learned is I can do anything with right people, with the, in the right mindset, we can do anything. It's, everything is possible. They took every challenge in stride and they were so professional in that. And that's something that I sit here today and I'm extremely proud of, of both organizations. Not what they've done in terms of advancing technology, but how they've done it and the people that did it. And, you know, we get focused sometimes on the technology aspect. And I think that's something we will always appreciate. But the story of this team is really the people.